Hi there, in this video we're going to take a look at Native Script View once again and this time we'll be investigating the Native Script App Info plugin. Let's create a new Native Script app by saying TNS Create and our application will be called NS View App Info. It will use the template Native Script dash View dash template. This will of course start us with a new Native Script View project. And from then on, we can add the app info plugin. Awesome, this has been created. So we can CD into NS view app info, and then we can say TNS plugin add native script dash app info. This allows us to find different things about our application, such as the build number, the app name, and so on. That's been successfully installed. We can run code dot to open this up inside of our editor. And then I will run this on the iOS simulator with TNS run iOS. As always, I will be using the app.js template and I'll be removing everything apart from the require native script dash view slash dist slash index. This allows us to use the view instance inside of our app. The next thing I'm going to do is make a const app info, and this will require the native script dash app info. We can then make a new view instance. And we'll also add dot dollar start to the end of our view instance. And this will allow us to start up our application. And of course, our app will be blank. This will first require a template. A template will simply be a page and it will have an action bar like so. We will give this action bar the title of application info. And when I save my file, you can then see that we get this blank app. So if you're not aware already, Vue has a numerous amount of lifecycle hooks that we can hook into. And the one that I'll be looking at is the created lifecycle hook. Inside of created, I will be getting all of our information. So we can say things like app info dot, and then we have things like get app ID, which does return us a promise. So we can say the app ID can be equal to this dot app ID, like so. We could then create a stack layout underneath our action bar. And the stack layout can have labels with the text equal to app ID. When our application initially loads, you can then see that we have this org.nativescript.nsview app info. That's the ID of our bundle. We can make this a little nicer to read. If we were to surround this in backticks and simply say app ID, and then use template binding to display our expression. So we currently have the app ID. Let's get the build number. So we can do the same by then displaying the build number on screen by adding it to a label. And when doing so, we should see our build number when our application does refresh. You can see that our build number is currently 1.0. And finally, we can do things like app info.get version name. If we got the version name and we simply said this dot version name is equal to our back text version name. we then be able to display this on screen inside of our text binding within the label. So hopefully you can see just how awesome Native Script View is and how easy it is to interact with the plugins such as the App Info plugin. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and check out paulhalliday.io if you want more courses and free material. Thanks a lot. See you soon.